Robert, as far as tri Triple G, he's fighting Brook. Um, I spoke to Gabriel Zotto, and he told me that the, the, the size difference, despite how big Brook is getting, when you get in there with a bigger man, you're going to feel it right away. Has, has your 100%. opinion changed at all from the way Brook has looked? Not at all, he's, man. Even the seven-day weigh-in, he was still heavier than Triple yeah, G. Yeah, so what? Brandon Rios is heavier. With, I, I bet you Brandon Rios will be heavier than, than Triple G 10 days before the, the weigh-in. I guarantee you, Brandon Rios will be heavier. That doesn't mean he's bigger or stronger. You know what I mean? I'm just, you know, Kel Brook looks solid. Yeah. You know, it's totally different. Kel, Kel Brook to Brandon. But just because he's heavy doesn't mean anything. He's a welterweight. He's fought at welterweight. Never fought above welterweight. So that, that, that's where that's that's where I come from, you know. He's a welterweight champion. So so there's, uh, you know, can't even, I don't know, I can't even match them against each other, in my opinion. But, uh, but it's business and uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make a lot of money in England. And, uh, Triple G is making his two, three million dollars easy. Who blames him? I don't blame him. You know, he's got nothing, you know, he's got, you know, he's not nothing to be ashamed of. You know, I just, I just hope to see that in, in his future fights, he, you know, if there's no challenges at 160, he goes up to 168. You know, Kel Brook is going from Walter to 160. Why can't he, why can't he, uh, why can't Triple G fight the winner of uh, World Kovalev? Same thing, jump into divisions, That's right? True. That's true. Yeah. So if, if Kel Brook is doing it against against uh, Triple G, why can't Triple G go go and fight the winner of uh, uh, Kovalev versus Underworld? It's two divisions, so it's about the same shit. You know what I mean? That's true. So I think that's what he that's what I, I would want him to do. You know, it's not of my business, but I would you know move up at least 168. Fight, you know, the guys at 168. There's there's some good challenges good fights, out sir. there. Good fights. If there's nothing else 160, then go to 168. That's true. Good one, and Robert, as far as uh, Triple G, you know, him and the whole Canelo thing, that's, that's been going on for a while, but I don't know if you've noticed, he's being more vocal now. He called Canelo a clown, and he even said that him and Golden Boy are scared. Like, he literally said that they're scared. Do, do, you, do you think that's the case, or is it still just, he's just look, frustrated because he can't get the fight? Look, of course he would like that fight, because he would make three times more than what he's making against anybody else. But... He doesn't, you know, he continues to fight the way he's fighting right now uh, on HBO. He fights three times a year, at least two, but let's say two or three times a year. I'm sure he gets paid well, you know, I don't, I, don't, I really don't know his purses, but he should be making around the three million dollar paydays. So if he does that for another three, four years, who cares, you know, <laughs> he'll, make, he'll make three or four times more fighting in one fight against Canelo, and, and I think right now he beats Canelo, you know, but, uh, but uh, you know, there's, 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 there's all those fights out there for him anyways to make a lot of money. Whoever he fights, he makes a lot of money. He's selling, he's selling out crowds. Uh, he's, 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 uh, he's, got, he's got a big fan base, and HBO loves him. He makes a lot of money. But, uh, but you know, for him to be, even, even, even be able to get De La Hoya or Canelo to even talk about him or mention him in a future fight, he's got to talk a little bit, you know, and, and he's got all the right to do it. You know, after, after Canelo called him out inside the ring, called him into the ring and said that Mexicans don't fuck around, well, then that's the fight that should have happened right away because the way it sounded, Canelo wanted it so yeah. bad. He actually said that we could, we could glove up right now. Yep. You know, and now we don't we don't have it. So, you know, are they scared? I don't think I'm really scared. I don't think I'm really scared. Oscar might not want him to fight. Mm -hmm. You know, they're smart, they're businessmen. Maybe I would feel the same way. But I don't think Canelo's afraid. I think Canelo's got a management team and a promoter. But Canelo should, could also say, you know, no, you know, I want to do it. Because now, I, whatever, I, I heard some people saying that, that Canelo said that he'll fight him when his body is ready. Mm -hmm. Well, then he, he was already ready to be a middleweight champion. So, why, you know what I mean? I don't know. Just so much shit going around. But uh, I don't see that fight happening not time, anytime soon. Do you, do you, I remember you told me we, we need more Adrian Broners in the sport. So are you happy kind of that Triple G's being vocal? Because yeah, we haven't heard Triple that side G of won't be, But he won't be the, the Adrian Broner. <laughs> he's, not, he's too nice. It just, people, he can't pull it off? We can't, we can't pull it off anymore. He can't anymore. He can't, you know. We need the, the guys that since, since day one were already like that. Uh, Brandon Rios a few years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, Fernando Vargas a few years ago, you know. Adrian Broner. Uh, you know that that are known to be like that. Triple G from one day to another, you know he could call out uh, 
he could call out uh, Canelo and call him a chicken or call him whatever, but it's just not Triple J. He, not, he needs to be that good guy because we also need good guys like him. That's true. That's true. Yeah, we also need the good guys.